The following is a live special presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Hello everybody, my name is Ron Chuckett. Welcome to the program for this 18th day of February, part two of 2022. Tonight we're going to look, take a first look at Stratomatic Baseball 2022. I did not buy a season. My wife would have killed me if I'd spent that much money. But I, oops, drop some frames. What are we doing? That's so. Anyway, it shouldn't really matter. Anyway, so we bought. I bought the game, 2022. It's now in version E, as a matter of fact. And the download I got tonight, and it's huge. The download itself is 1.2 gigabytes. We're going to go through, I'm going to show you how to doctor things up, how where the rules are, how to find all that stuff. We will play somewhat of a game and all that. So hang in there. Uh, and if you got questions, we'll try to get to them as far. I know that Dave has a lot of specific questions, and I'm probably not going to get to a lot of those tonight, such as moving screens around and and all that. That's I, I don't want to mess up what I have, as you hear the emergency services behind me it's because this game is so hot no it's not um so but hopefully over the next hour or so we get familiar with how stratomatic baseball works on the pc and show you how it plays just a little bit all right all right happy friday john how are you so I did not buy the 86 season. The 86 season you see there is the old one, and I will purchase the 86 season in due time. But between the game itself, the card image option is $67, which has been has been that way for a while. Seasons are now 28 bucks. So in order to get the whole kit and caboodle, the 86 season and the game it would have been ninety five dollars, and I that just seems to be. I don't want to start a new project. I'm playing the seventy seven Red Sox in this, so let's not do that. Okay, so a lot of this is going to be on this screen for the moment. So I'm going to go up to options. Now, all of the modern seasons are major league, and you can tell on the left, the older seasons are split into American League and National League. So the first thing we're going to go through is go through some rules. So this is what the game has to offer. Main rules. You can play advanced Super advanced, super advanced with bulk, wild pitch, and pass ball, or maximum level. I play super advanced with bulk, wild pitch, and pass ball. I am looking for a card and dice experience. We'll click on maximum level here for a second. And let's take a look at the max rules that come within the game. Now these are things that have um, Jimmy around with the game rolls behind the scenes and all that. Improve statistical accuracy. Uh, that's one thing you never want to check if you're playing a cards and dice game. Bunt for base hit. That would be about the only one I would actually ever use because in Stratomatic, even in Super Advanced, you can't bunt for a base hit, at least on the computer. Improve out distribution, improve base running realism, home field advantage, starting pitcher clutch, more base running decisions, doubles, triples options, that's to get the those closer to being right, forced daily injuries, realistic throwing errors, Allow extra pre-1920 errors. You can pitch around. Rob home runs. Correct board game excesses. So if you have a Greg Maddox or a Dennis Eckersley or someone like that who didn't give up a walk or a home run, 
they'll re-roll on certain rolls. You won't be able to see it to get to that to make it look right. Allow errors on bunts and pickoffs, which isn't in the game. Prorate injuries to length of season. Limit all injuries to current game only. Allow defensive shifts. Catcher blocking the plate rule. Extreme batter picture matchups. Allow errors not shown on the sad VX chart. And throttle back monster cards. I use none of those. Stealing. There's two systems here. Advanced stealing and super advanced stealing. I use super advanced stealing. Miscellaneous. Do not use miscellaneous rules. Use miscellaneous rules. For the purpose of this, I think I use miscellaneous rules. Injuries. Within the game, you can have do not use injuries. Use injuries. Use 15, 60 day injuries. You can go 7, 15, and 60 days injuries. For this, we'll use the sad V charts. You can go 7, 10, and 60, which is the new rules, and then the 7, 10, 15, and 60 day. On a ground ball A, you can either prevent the double play on a pitcher card, as in a ground ball A, you can obviously get it with the next rating, or allow it. I'm assuming that they're on the new cards, so we're going to allow it. Ballpark, yes. Weather, yes. Clutch hitting, all there. It's amazing what you can change around in this game. Strategy, charts, advanced or super advanced. We'll go super advanced. Closer rules, yes. You pretty much need to use them for um, modern seasons. We will use... We don't need to use sad V fatigue rules. We can use them or we'll have it with the pitch count. MLB rules. Pre-2020 rules, which is what most people understand. 2020 rule changes originally planned. 2020 rule changes actually used. I believe that sets up the seven-inning doubleheader. And so but since we're playing 2021, those are the rules, Okay. Any questions on that? I know there are not a lot of people here, but that's how you set it up. You can chain, mix and match this to your own what, whatever it is that you want to do. Options. Lineup and usage. Now, here's the defaults. Visiting team and home team. Primary with rest. Primary. Secondary. Manual mode, which means... You go in person by person and add who you want there. The computer does have some set lineups for you. Automatic lineups. I believe that is for um, if you're doing an as played. Draft league mode with rest. Because there's a lot of draft leagues that run with this. And draft league mode with no rest. Scheduled days off. None or give. Give is checked. Miners. Eligible, MLB method, not sure what that is. Minor leagues ineligible, automatic transactions. I'm going to leave that with MLB method. And the 13 eligible pitchers, you can choose how many your target is. That's new this year. I haven't seen that before. Auto swap, you can, change, you can set the game to automatically trade now. It is an AI trade. It is not moving players from in real life. That is, the computer would make trades to itself. There is a bit of a GM mode in here. Over usage. Fully controlled over usage. So the computer will not use players if they have played over 100 prorated or at 100% of what they're supposed to be playing. Try to limit over usage, which is what I believe I have set for 77, and ignore over usage. So if you got a player that had 30 at bats and hits 400, you can do that, and it won't care. MLB method roster size. Obviously, um, for most years, it was 25 man rosters and 40 in September. In Major League Baseball 2021, it's 26 and 28 in September. 
you can use the Super Hal bullpen, Super Hal lineup subs, Super Hal pinch hit and run. You better hope they're set up correctly. Super Hal is not something I'm going to get into this evening. Allow extra g game started for certain pitchers. Use actual pitching batting cards. And warn when actual usage is exceeded. Okay, so those are the lineups and usage options in the game. Some of this looks new. I think if this was an as played, it would be automatic lineups. Game preferences. All right, this is a biggie, and I'm going to be changing some some of these here. Oh, there's a new one that I haven't seen before. Entry mode. How do you start each at bat? You can, in Stratomatic Baseball, roll your own dice. So if you want to do that, manual entry. Dice mode is what I'm going to do. It just shows you the dice that are there. Regulator, I'm not quite sure what that is. Pre-swing, play-by-play, that would be kind of like an action PC thing. Ron steps to the plate, he's hitting 225, blah, 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 and then it shows it. Results and options. Now, I'm going to shut off most of these, but if you buy the game, obviously you know. The only animation in the game is show flight a ball. I don't want to see it. Show board game information. I definitely want to see that. Display trivia questions. I know that Tommy Hendrick hit the first home run under the lights in the World Series. Just, no. Display newsworthy events. Nope. Don't care. Play-by-play -play level. There are four different things you can select. We'll go none. But you can have minimal, normal, and then detail play-by-play. -play. So if you really just want the experience of having the cards and dice... And having the, them to show you the, 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 there, but want to have the computer tell you what's going on and, and all that, you can have detail play by play. I don't. For me, it makes the game go. Computer manager. You can have the visitors managed by the computer, the home team managed by the computer, and you can change this within the game settings. This is just generic for the entire league. Or you could turn off. This is new suggested defensive strategies because the game will do that for you it makes managing easier i think we'll leave that as is that's how i would play it dice cards and split you can have the dice rolled manually or the dice rolled automatically we're going to do automatic dice the dice will stop all three dice stop together. Single die stops first. That's kind of fun because that's the white die, and so you know what column it's going to be as it continues to spin around. And then single die and best column. So it'll tell you in the at bat that my best column is a one and a five. And so that's always cool. Show cards and notebook. There you go. Now, split cards. Remember, Strat does split cards. We think of it as a D20. You can put them in by yourself as in roll your own and, and tell it. Split cards are automatic, means the results can come up. Or you can do the tactile split, split cards, which I've sh checked off here, which means that you click and it will roll that on the screen for you. Other options, animate the super advanced fielding chart. Yes, yes, yes. See how those results came from. Always important to do that. Any questions? Have I put you all to sleep? So many options in this game. Sound. Guess what? We shut most of these off. You can have crowd noise, no crowd noise. Music selections, dice and card sounds. I'm going to uncheck all of these. Crack of the bat, a sound for a home run, vendor PA sounds. 
I play in silence, like a monk. But again, you, they're all wonderful to have if that's what you want. So you can make that as immersive as you want. Autoplay in box score. Again, you can create print files for everything. So what I normally do is box score, play account, and score sheet. But you can tell it to out to output only the box score, the play accounts, the score sheet, and the combination of the three. When do you output? Always. It's just always there. Where the output is saved to a file, you can open up a box score and read any game that the computer plays too. Display game on story on box score. That is checked. Stratomatic will write a little story. Let's say Ron Jucker hit two home runs and John Goodell threw a four hit shutout as the good guys beat the bad guys four to three. Okay. Display condensed play log on News Daily. That looks new. I don't know what that one is yet. Create Daily Reporter HTML file. It will, after a day is played, create this, this web folder. And so you can go through and read all the box scores and the newspaper things and all that. View scores during autoplay. So you can see what's going on during the game or what, before you get to your game and see all the scores. Create game result files. Yes, you want that. And because you can now have eight subsets of stats. So t you can have team versus team. So you're playing the Dodgers and the Giants. You can see, we'll, I'll show you some of this when I open up 77, how one team did against another. Day versus night. Same thing. Day games versus night games. Home and on the road. And then subsets by month. Leave all those checked. It just gives you way so much information did I do that one already? yeah events if you only want things to say for it, a case of event it'll tell you about shutouts two or less hits 15 or more runs, 20 or more hits, a 15 or more inning game, 5 or more hits, 5 or more RBI. You can read the rest of those, okay? That is, if, if space is a premium, you really just don't care about all the stats in general. You can just choose to say what ones are there and which ones aren't. Ah... Uh, the league leaders page, just leave them all checked. But that's what the game keeps track of for you in the stats for league leaders. We're not going to go through them all one by one. Miscellaneous. You can change all sorts of stuff. And I'm not going to go through change any of these but you can if you want play around with it to your heart's content all right are there well, okay next we're gonna update the league i think so this is where you put in all the real information that you want Basic information, it's just that. Sub league info, it's all right. It's all there. Divisional info, yep, all there. Team divisions, everything is correctly placed. Team nicknames. Now, the game does not ship with real nicknames. So we're going to bore you for the next couple of minutes and show you how to change it. You just put the cursor there. Wow. 
voila! I'm gonna play. The Dodgers and the Giants. You can see some cute nicknames. Miami Finns. Minnesota Mins. Philadelphia Cheesesteaks. The Seattle Sailors. So, what we're going to do, they're all there. DH settings. Now it's going to be all even, but it has it correctly set by league. So, you don't need to mess with that. But you can have a DH for everybody. And, hey, you can have the pitchers hit. Play-by-play -play stuff. So, it tells you the league commissioner. And the umpiring crews, because that's in the box scores. Team manager settings. We're not going to mess with that. Any questions? All right, we're going to play some ball here. So we go up to File, New Unscheduled Game, and you can play any two teams that you own, okay? This does not need to be from um, just the same season in an exhibition game. Make sure you hit major lit. Oops, not that. So it's all menu driven. Select your teams. And because we have ballpark and weather all that selected, you need to give it a date. So July 4th day. So it's going to be Trevor Bauer for the Dodgers and Jose Cueto for the Giants. Now let's change those. Let's go with Max Scherzer. Now, we've already got the weather information. The weather's going to be good. And so we know what a single on a good day on a single check would be 1 to 13 and a home run 1 to 6. Do I want Cueto? No. I want Gaussman. Now. The game selected 26 players. The ones that are on my active roster are checked. The minor leaguers are in that tealish blue. I won't change any of those. But let's say you want the pitchers are going to be on the right and the batters are going to be on the left. So if there's someone that I don't want to play, I can uncheck them and then check somebody else. And if you're ready... I'm ready. So I have the card set up this way. So the top row, that one, two, and three, is Mookie Betts' card. Okay? His out chances are on the are in white. Oops, and of course I moved the mouse and it flubbed it all up. Al, how are you? And you can click the card on the screen. Man, that is horrible. 
So we'll play. We'll have Mookie go, and the, the dice are going to be up in the upper right. Ground ball. No. I want to see the card. I am well. Hopefully you are too. There we go. Okay. So I want the card to be seen for the moment. So the way I have it set up, and you can change this around. Batter card on top, one, two, and three. Pitcher card on the bottom, four, five, and six. So everyone's out chances are in white on the card. It's all color-coded. The yellow is the ballpark single and home run things. It'll change it on the card. So in this case for Trey Turner, if he rolled a one, two, that would be a ballpark home run chance. And as it says, because it's a good day at Oracle Park, it's a one to six. The one three is a single check, one base. So a one to 13 roll. That will change depending on the weather and the park, but it tells you right then and there what the chances are. To get on base regularly, those are those chances are in blue. So you want to see those land in blue. Now, on a 1-6 or a 1-10, those are clutch chances. And with two out and a runner in scoring position, those would go from blue to green and may change from a single to an out or an out to a single. But it tells you right on the card how to do that. Same thing on the pitcher card. Does Gaussman have a ground ball? Yes. On a 5-5, five five, he's got a ground ball shortstop A. But the same thing. And so you can see how the cards are put together. That was new, Al, I think a couple years ago. I think that was 2019. How different is this from Stratomatic 2002? Well, I believe Stratomatic 2002, you still had to have a key disc, so those you don't need anymore. So we roll a ground ball of the pitcher, two out. Now Justin Turner. And now I'll show you the stats on the screen. They're really setting the bar high, yep. So... The top line there for Turner in the stats are the stats for his season. The ones in red are the in-game stats. Now, the missing line there are the yellow ones, and that would be his replay stats. So Turner with two out and nobody on. Rolls a 2-9 and strikes out. So you have it there. And so Max Scherzer will come in to face Lamont Wade Jr. The computer made these lineups. Don't shoot me. Now you can do all your strategy on without going to any place else. You can hold a runner on. You can position the defense. You can intentionally walk the batter. You can bunt, hit and run. Steal a base. Squeeze. If I hit this, it brings up the visitors lineup screen. And my God, we actually have a bench of five players. Imagine that. In all 18,000 eligible pitchers. And the same with the home team. And the outcome box and strat, a bit different than it is in Action PC. It gives you pretty precise percentages on what can happen over a course of a play. What's the changes I like? Well, we're just playing the game now. Um, a lot more options. You can now tell the computer not to set the defense for you. That I liked. You can play with 2021 rules. So if you want to go with seven... Seven inning double headers, you can. And Wade strikes out. Look at all the strikeouts on that card. Holy crap. 
That Scherzer card is absolutely filthy. And by the way, on a 4, 6, and a 6, 7, that at is the fatigue or point of weakness. Oh, my goodness. Scherzer. Oh, my. That is absolutely filthy. Bryant, 612. Now, that would be an injury roll with the DH. Okay, so if you've never seen this before, this is how the super advanced fielding goes. Essentially, you roll a D20 and the 3D6. So you roll the D20. So a 13, if there's a runner on, that'd be double play ball, a G1. And then there's no error. Boom. The pitcher is injured, so I got to reply. Of course. He'll have to sit out two additional days. So, I must replace Scherzer. Now, none of these starters relieved. I'm going to go with David Price. Drag it over here. All set. You have to go, I'll go back through and I, I spent 15 minutes going through all the options. Some of them are new. But as far as gameplay is concerned, I don't think there are any new rules this year for Strat. Buster Posey singles. I'm not going to steal him. Brandon Belt. I should point out here, the A is his bunt rating. The D is his hit and run rating. Bad. And the N tells you he has normal power. Catch your X. Will Smith. And so it's a possible pass ball or a pop-up. No additional air. It's a pop-up to the catcher. And we go to the second. I'll play one more inning, and then we'll go through the stats. So Muncie. Strikes out. Surprise, surprise. Corey Seager. Fly ball to left. Now, again, a lot of the stuff you can move around the screen. This is just what works best for me. Will Smith. Ground ball to short. Brandon Crawford. Now, you can't get a single here. There's nobody on base. Those number signs by the 1, 2, 3, or 4... Crawford would drop to a two fielding rating if they were holding a runner on. Since they're not, good chance this is going to be an out. Yep. It worked. Again, all the options I showed you earlier are still there. Now, game. Let's go check information here. So here's San Francisco's lineup card. The players in blue aren't in the game. I had to use David Price. So that's if you were in San Francisco, that would be what you would be looking at, plus the lineup and all the positions they can play and their ratings. This doesn't look new, but it tells you where... All their ratings and where they can play defensively, and whether they're one being excellent, four being bad, and the higher the E number. Let's take a look at Brian at short. He's a four E eighty eight. That's as bad as you can be. And there's a defensive grid. They had this back in nineteen ninety. So you can see all the eligible players that can play a given position. And their defensive ratings at those positions. That's pretty good. In 
And since we're not doing a replay, there's no stats. Now the box score, since I did get the team names right, it tells you the attendance. It tells you the time, if it's a day or night game, whether it's good, who the umpires are. There doesn't appear to be anything new on there. The play account, it tells you all the dice rolls. So if you wanted to see what the dice rolls were, you can. If there's a 20 check, it has all of them there. I haven't had a 20 check. Could be the last version with a stupid 14-team playoffs. Well, um, you have to set all those up by hand anyway, Brad. I don't believe Strat gives you automatic playoffs. Miscellaneous. Now, this is for Dave. If you're not sure how to handle a situation, it'll tell you what the computer is thinking. Pinch hit, pinch run, steal, hit and run, squeeze and sacrifice. Whether they should intentionally walk or go to the pen. Current batter pitcher matchup. And the weather situation on the day. That's been in all the games. And it's handy to have. As far as gameplay goes, I don't see anything really different. Visitors line up. Visitors bench, visitors pitchers, and so on and so forth. All right, we'll X out of this. I'll go to 77. We're going to go through some stats. So here is a stat package. Standings, obviously. And this, I don't see anything new here, but it tells you an awful lot. Home, road, left, right, extra, one run games. I'm 9 and 5 in those, by the way. Magic numbers, the actual standings on any given day, and the actual final standings. So as you can see, I've done real well with the Red Sox. They're four games ahead of schedule. League leaders. I'm not going to scroll through these all, but by God, it does keep track of everything. And Rod Carew's hitting 396. How about that? How many times people have bunted, stolen bases, stolen base percentage, hitting streaks, pinch hit batting averages, slugging percentage, runs created for 27 outs, total averages, total bases, fielding X percentages. So Dave in hockey, it'd be like a, a goalie rating chance, how good they are with that. Your standard pitching stats. How many batters they faced. You can. I haven't done that. We're going to do that at some point. That's true. That Scherzer card was nasty, wasn't it? Grand totals. This is what it keeps track of. For that, that's the first. The Red Sox have hit 106 home runs. In 73 games. If you don't play with it, I'll show you. Oh, the 22 DeGrom card as well. <laughs> Second grand total. So on um, base percentage slugging, how many games they've played, walks, intentional walks. All that. I've had 10 complete games. And X percentage for fielding just tells you just how good their defenders are within the game.
and those are the fielding stats. I'm not saying anything new here. But as you said earlier, Dave, once you buy one version, unless there's a season that's redone, you wouldn't have to buy it again for a while. But it does keep track of everything. It tells you how the managers go through things. My stolen base percentage, how many times I've bunted. I did squeeze once. How many times I've hit and run. And how many intentional walks I've thrown to myself. How many ballpark home run chances I've had. How many ballpark single chances I've had. How many clutch hits, clutch outs. So you can see the game tells you everything that it does. I don't have injuries turned on. Line scores for the entire thing. Game stories from the day before. We're talking about this a little bit earlier. And the line scores. Newspaper style recap. I'm sure you've seen a lot of those posted elsewhere. It just gives a general overall idea. So the next game I have against Detroit should be wise against rule. And award voting. So it'll tell you that Bobby Bonds would be the MVP. How people are doing in the all-star voting. Gold glove winners. Silver Sluggers. And the record book. Now, by team, do teams, by record, how I've done on the road, how I've done at home. I average 6.25 runs a game. Stop drilling out. I've had 15 games where I've had 10 or more runs, and I've been shut out three times. How you do against other teams. See if there's anything new here. The primary stats, this is pretty much the screen I read the most. As you can tell, they can slug and they can't pitch. But somehow the team ERA is 424. Secondary stats, so you know, and save percentages. I've blown 11 saves. Can you imagine that? Lefty-righty splits. Miscellaneous and saver metric. How strat does fielding, so it's all the X checks. Somehow they are a good fielding team, and Hobson only has 10 errors. 78 is going to be brutal for him. Traditional fielding. It does keep track of that. That's new within the last five years or so. Breaks it down by position. How many innings? How many double plays they've turned? Team detail. How I've done in base running chances. What I'm only hitting 289 in June. That's bad. 37 home runs, though. Breaks down starters, relievers. Just oodles and oodles and oodles of numbers. 
line scores. Including double double headers, it will tell you now with the asterisk. That's new. Usage display. So if you really care about things like that, plus the prorated versus actual, so it'll give you some projections. Who have used too much? Now, I'm only doing 24 cards with this replay, so getting everyone's numbers right are going to be a challenge. But you can see just how well the game does. Daily log, so where my standings were on a day-by-day -day basis. That 19-inning game I lost to Seattle. So that's where we are. I've been on this long road trip, 45 and 28. Comparison, real life to replay. And career totals, but I haven't yet to do an encyclopedia for that. Any questions? Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is install a season. You go under league. And so unlike the other games where you got to go to into the installation folder to get it, you can just do it from right here. And everything, ooh, important note. Let's see what that says. The game will only support the installation of the most recent version of any roster. If you have an older version of a season that has been upgraded, your older product code will not work with the newer roster. So if you bought 47 or 86, your old codes won't work. you got to rebuy them. But you do that anyway. So it's all here on the download. So in 86, you can... Oh, wow. They've updated a lot of things for 2022 as well, such as pitchers hitting cards for a lot of seasons. That's cool. Thing is, if you reinstall a roster... It reinstalls it over everything, so all the changes you have are lost. So for 1986, what you get is the All-Star Game, if you want to play that. The Deluxe Season set up for As Played, so all the cards. The Deluxe Season rosters as carded. And the World Series. So if you want to just do the Red Sox and the Mets, you can do that. So there's lots of different options. The Japanese Seasons are another purchase. Um, I don't want to install a season because I don't remember what the heck I have or what I don't have. So it has them for all the same thing, all the years. And that's how you merge a season. So let's do 79, because that one I have. That one is going to be original. So I'm going to merge that season. Original rosters are not compatible. Oh, really? Come on! Oh, so you can't. It's reading what I got there and it can't do it. Well, that sucks. But that's how you would do it. Pick a year and hit the button. 78? So if you want to go the full carded route, you you can't do it that way. Which sucks. What else we want to see, gang? You want to see any cards for this year? Mm 
There's the DeGrom card. That is pure porn. On a righty, you can't get a hit off him. He's got a home run chance on a 5-2 against a lefty and a 6-11. And a single chance on a 6-3. Oh my goodness. As Al would say, holy poop. Yeah, Wool was right. So, to go through what the cards mean, the, the BK and WP wild pitch, you can't throw any of those. You can't commit an error. It's the Mets, yeah. It's kind of like Bob Gibson in 68. Now, how do you have an earn run average of 113 and lose eight games? Well, his hitting card is a 5 out of the 8. His error rating is a 3, or his fielding rating is a 3. He is a six, goes 6 innings before hitting his point of weakness. He's a righty. He's plus 2 at holding on runners. He's a C bunner. If you get on his card, you have a 65% chance of striking out. That is unbelievable. Any other... Oh. I know. Do Otani. Here's his batting card. That is an all-time great Stratomatic card. That's not a bad card, is it, Brad? I didn't realize he was a god-awful fielder. God, he's a five out there. That's... Well, who cares? He's got a straight home run chance on a 1-8 against a righty. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't realize he was that bad of a fielder, but who cares? Oh, yeah, he can pitch, too. That four column is filthy. He can't give up a home run to righties. He's got the straight chance in the 6-5 on a lefty. And he's got a ballpark chance on the 6-3. So he does get two cards. Anything else you get? Who says pitching uh, pitching is alive and well? Anything else you guys have any questions on or want to see? If you go back and watch the first 10, 15 minutes, I go through all the options and all the max rules and all that. Al, that was a couple of the new things I saw were in the options. But it largely is, if you got the game before, it, it's pretty much the same. I don't think there were any new rule changes for Strat. And again, the download was a full gig.
again, I think most of this is just pretty much the same as everything else. All right. Anything else? I'll give it a minute. If you want to see a card. Rendon was hurt, huh? Here's Reggie's card from 77, by the way. That's a pretty good card. All right, we will not be with you over the weekend. We'll be back with you for lots and lots of... Actually, no, I'm going to do a video on football um, sometime over the weekend for the 2021 season. So we'll leave you with Reggie's card from 77. That's a pretty good card, don't you think? I hope you guys have a great weekend. We got a doubleheader for you on Tuesday for Memorial Day. Reds and Mets, Twins, and Red Sox. So until then, have a, yourself a great weekend. So long, everybody.